Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, um, I wanted to uh, give um, a talk about uh, a newer, I would say newer, um, basically a alternative um, trading platform. I it was certainly not a trading platform, but it's, it's basically an alternative to trying to uh, connect into uh, interactive brokers, uh, ECN environment, using um, obviously their their API, um, but for Linux. And again, I'm going to be using a um, a uh, uh, another C++ trading platform, open source, the only one that I could find really. So it's quite limited what you can find. Um, but right now, what you're looking at are a bunch of instructions that I put together. Uh, I'm hoping that will help people out. So let me show you what I've got going on. Um, right now, I've got a uh, platform I've shown before. It's called Trading Shim. Okay. Um, now, if you come under the TradingShim.org, uh, this is a open source um, platform or 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 or, or E, uh, application written in 100% in C++ that um, will enable you to connect into the uh, interactive brokers uh, API using the uh, interactive brokers uh, tra trader workstation um, and uh, be able to do your trading and all that kind of stuff through uh, Linux. Um, this is the only one that I've come across. Uh, the reason I'm going with C++ even though I'm most likely at some point I'm going to be banging my uh, head against the wall which I already have come across there's two reasons uh, for career uh, path I'm not saying I'm going to go into a career but it's really good to know C++ really well especially when it comes from a, um, a uh, HFT or uh, any kind of trading platform uh, point of view as I said this is the only one I could come across um, the nice thing about this uh, application is there are um, some decent uh, manuals, quick start manuals to get you started compared to other ones that I've seen, namely in, in Java. Um, but uh, there is a getting started uh, quick start manual. Um, so I've summarized everything in that in a little um, document here um, that I'll post uh, on, on, on the quantlabs.net blog. Um, and it's just more of a checklist and, and a number of things that you uh, need to install. So pretty well um, if you come into this uh, you'll find some optional stuff but there are some required instructions which I've listed uh, farther below here um, so from here you obviously need the G++ uh, compiler uh, again remember this is all for Linux I'm doing it in Ubuntu uh, then there's a MySQL uh, I'll show you the um, the APT get uh, uh, commands that you can run to install your uh, your um, MySQL as well as uh, there's some R Ruby scripts that are used as client testing. I haven't tried those yet. Uh, I should also stress that um, I have not um, gotten the completion of the shim. The what I'm about to show you is just as far as uh, compiling, building the um, shim uh, in C++ as well as uh, using a IDE like a NetBeans to get to a point where you can debug it. Um, so that's all I'm going to show in this video, but I'm going to show you uh, what sort of things and highlights that I'm going to show you what you need. Uh, so as I said, we need uh, MySQL. Um, from there, uh, Ruby, it's optional kind of, um, so I haven't, tr I haven't played with that yet. I don't really know um, I don't really know Ruby, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go, go down that path with something I don't really know. Um, also, you need uh, the MySQL header file for the C++ uh, for the shim to compile. Um, so you can get that by doing this install here. Um, and uh, the next thing you need to do is to install the interactive uh, TWS trading workstation um, that the shim will connect into. So you can um, get all the info here, but there, there are in this URL uh, the set of instructions to get you uh, to get your TWS running and installed. So you follow that. Uh, just make sure you, you get them the TWS from this link here. It does run, um, and I can actually show you that uh, if in my Ubuntu, which is the 12.04. Um, you can see that uh, I do have uh, the TWS um, running right here, uh, and there's some configuration 
changes as well that you need to uh, do. Um, so let me show you that. <coughs> All right, so essentially um, you follow these instructions. They work just just fine. Uh, you run your TWS here. Uh, it's just basically the TWS is a bunch of jar files. Um, and then uh, you can uh, execute your shim from here. Um, before you do that, running the shim, uh, you need to load the MySQL data into your MySQL database. So there are instructions here. Uh, and when I say manual, um, you can find the manual here. Um, all this stuff. I'd give the pr uh, page reference here, like 40 or whatever it is, um, right here. Uh, so you can get the manual. That's the link for the manual. Um, and uh, basically, you're going to run into some weird things uh, to create the database. Uh, I'm not sure if this manual is fully up to date with the latest code version of, uh, uh, of the shim. Um, seems to be out of date, so you can, I don't know, try to um, get around that um, if you're really good at uh, MySQL, uh, which is a good a good exercise to learn anyways. Uh, and then what you want to do is obviously create your SQL, load up your, populate the database, and uh, that should be that. So I've got everything running as far as I can take it. Uh, for now, let me just show what I mean. Um, right now let me just find my right terminal here uh, give me a second here no uh, and here I got different uh, okay so yeah this is what I wanted okay so if you come into when you expand your shim uh, download uh, this has all been worked on, uh, you know, following these instructions. Uh, I do have the ability to create the shim, the compile, uh, when I do compile it. So I do have an ex executable. But just to show you where I'm at, um, if you run it, you're going to get uh, the help list right here. Um, and you only have really two options. This is the current version. Uh, it's from 2010. I'm not sure, but I think this project has, the shim has been somewhat abandoned. But don't let that scare you. Um, I say this, um, give me a second, and I'll explain that in a second. So let's say if I run the shim using this data uh, parameter, um, what will happen is it will, it looks like it's trying to make an attempt to get into uh, the shim RC, but it does, does exist. Um, and everything looks good there, uh, but um, it, does, it does appear to connect into the database. Um, so that's the main thing, because previous I got MySQL could not connect into the MySQL uh, database, so I'm past that. So anyways, um, this is where your C++ skills will come into play. So in my case, um, I've, I would recommend using, if you're, you're using uh, Linux, um, something like an Ubuntu, I would recommend you to use uh, the NetBeans IDE. Um, there is a, a NetBeans IDE for C++ only, it's small as well. So what you can do is once you got your um, project uh, created within your uh, NetBeans, uh, you can start debugging it. And from there, I can try to figure out what's going wrong uh, here. Um, so that's what I plan to do. Um, and, uh, you know, let me explain a few things. Um, regarding... Uh, C++, why not Java, why not, um, uh, I'm, I'm doing C++ as I said for, uh, it's used throughout a lot of the hedge funds and banks and all that sort of stuff. It also beefs up your skill in Linux as well, so it's, it's a really good exercise to go through. Um, right now, because it only connects to uh, MySQL, at some point I would like to, uh, have this running against a NoSQL database. Um, you know my feelings about done various uh, postings of via video and the regular blog. Uh, that there's probably three NoSQL databases uh, that I like: uh, Redis, 
um, Cassandra as well as MongoDB. Everything from that point on is driven by what I can connect to from uh, the world of R. Uh, so far I think Redis and Mo uh, MongoDB seem to be the best options. I've got videos on how to connect to both. Um, I'm not sure yet but uh, probably going to go with Mongo for now. Um, seems to, have to be a bit better client support from the R side than the Redis, but the Redis does seem to work okay. Um, and you can do uh, sharding for both Mongo and uh, the um, uh, Redis as well, which is an important for speed and that, as uh, this guy, this shim, may be able to populate a potential database within uh, one of those NoSQL no solutions. But for now, I'm going to try to focus only on um, MySQL. Now the other thing is with MySQL, um, I might just stick with MySQL, who knows, um, because I know the client support for R is pretty good as well, I mean it's, with no S uh, MySQL it is the most popular uh, uh, database out there, um, and um, you know, I, I don't know yet, uh, but uh, I don't want to make this too complicated, but it appears to be kind of a challenge right now. Um, so at this point, um, I'm going to stick with a plan on the C++ and get the shim, but running it through the debugger, I need to really bring my C++ skills up to uh, up to par. Um, you know, I can do everything in Java, no problem. But uh, as I said, I want to focus on C++, and the reason for that is two reasons, obviously, for career, as well as um, Java and this question of um, garbage collection when I post questions on the uh, stack overflow it's just like a very um, wishy-washy very general answers well you need to optimize well the question is optimize what optimize how I mean there's so many different um, alternatives to that so I just kind of gonna play with this in the C++ to see how it goes also I'm gonna do a f um, I'm gonna focus uh, next on um, RCPP and R inside, which are packages for C++ for execution, see how fast they are. That's going to be my next step to see how uh, that performs as well. So stay tuned for there. So originally, um, as you know from the Windows world, trying to connect from Visual C++ or a C Sharp uh, platform, connecting into MATLAB, um, that was the original uh, vision. Um, but I guess you could say I'm doing it now instead with C++ in Linux plus R as well. So it's a lot more lightweight, um, and I've done some postings uh, for my members about uh, some models and framework uh, for strategy development, which seems to work really well um, as it stands right now. I've played with all last week, and I've, g I've got some other uh, strategy development models coming down the pipes too. So right now, this is what I'm going to focus on and uh, see where we go from there. All right? Have a good one.